Is it a tower or is it a bridge? This time, it's both. Hey everyone, Coach Scott here to help you with another instant challenge. Today we're going to be doing tower and bridge. For this challenge, we will build a tower that will be scored on height. But then, using only tongs to grab it, we have to place it on this wood and have it support weight. For this challenge, we will use eight pencils, eight straws, eight index cards, four pieces of paper, six mailing labels, four paper clips, two rubber bands, two pieces of string. We also have a set of tongs which will be used to pick up the tower, make it into a bridge. They cannot be part of the structure. We also have the weights that the bridge will support. Those cannot be part of the structure either. Let's get started. Okay, we know we have to build a tower and a bridge. The bridge has to go at least this far apart. So we need to build a structure that can span that. What do we have? We have straws that don't go that far, pencils that don't go that far. What about two pencils? Two pencils, looks like it'd be just about perfect. So let's put some pencils together. To do that, I'm going to need a note card. I'm going to take the pencil and we're just going to roll this thing in. Roll the pencil into the note card. So squeeze it just like that. We're going to take one of our mailing labels. This time we're going to rip it into thirds, or right around thirds. We're going to take one piece to tape that together, like so. Now we want this go over both pencils. We need to make sure that this paper stays on those pencils. So we're going to use the rest of the mailing label, rip that into two pieces. And we're going to just place that on there and wrap that around. Okay, you want to make sure you wrap that nice tight so that pencil doesn't come out. Same thing here. Wrap it like that. Wrap it around. Squeeze that sticker on the pencil. So now those don't fall out. And they span the width of the bridge. I'm going to go ahead and do the next three the exact same way. Okay, now I have four of those done. What I want to do now is group them together into pairs. I'm going to want a flat surface on these pencils. So to do that, I'm going to take a piece of paper and wrap that piece of paper up. Just keep flattening it down every time. We're going to take another mailing label, rip it in half, stick the mailing label on like that, and that way we can roll this right on top of it. Okay, so that's nice and flat. So, you see what I did there? I took the mailing label, and I stick it on the side like that. So what that does, when I roll it up, I don't have to try to make something stick when it's difficult to handle. This thing just rolls right onto the tape and it'll make itself stick. Perfect. Okay. Now 
we have those two. I need to add on to that. I'm going to want these two to go together. But I'm also going to want to throw the straws in there as well. Because these things will not stand on their own. We're going to need the straws to come up with a way to do that. So, what we're going to do is what I've taught you before, how to pinch the straw and put it in there. Maybe we'll just try to stay with the same colors. Pinch the straw. There we go. Pinch it just like your nose. So it looks just like that, and you're putting that one on top. Like that. And like that. So now we have four straws. This one didn't pinch that great, so I'm going to fix it real quick. There we go. Nice. Now, what I'm going to need to do is I want these two to go together. Now I'm going to have two straws on top and two straws on the bottom. This is where having teammates come in really handy. I'm going to have to try to do this with only two hands and you get lots of hands. Take the rubber band around once and twice. Okay, once that's around twice, we're going to go to the other side. Once and twice. Okay, now what I'd like to do is make sure these are nice and even. The straws I'm worried about. I want to make sure the four straws all touch the ground. So I'm going to build some feet for that. As we see here, it doesn't exactly stand. We're going to build some feet using the paper clips. As you've seen in many of my videos, I like to use paper clips and straws together. First thing we're going to do is bend them all up like we have in the past. So we're making little L's out of them. Those L's are going to become my feet. We're going to do that by finding the straws that touch the bottom. There we go. And we're going to put these straws, I'm sorry, paper clips inside the straws. Like that. Like that. Like that. And like that. So now we have feet for the tower, but if we open these up a little bit, our feet will be even more stable. So with feet like that, we can stand up for tower. Look at that. We have a tower that's standing straight up. Now, we also know that we'll get better scores the higher this tower is. So let's try to add a little bit of height to this tower. I think we could add some with these note cards. If we just tuck a note card right in there, like so, just like that one, right between the straws and the pencils, it holds it nicely. Okay, there we go. Let's see if we can go a little bit higher. We have one mailing label left. Do 
Again, we're going to rip it into three pieces. One, two, and three. Take the first piece, tape it onto here, and we're going to tape this up there. It's okay if it folds like that. We're going to take care of that in a second. Second thing, tape it just like that. Put that onto this one. Now, with our last piece, bring the two tips together. There we go. We have a tower standing pretty tall. However, this has to be a tower and a bridge. The rules state that we can only pick up the tower with the tongs and lay it across the wood. If anything falls off, it, we cannot fix it. We are not allowed to touch this structure again. So we're going to pick it up. See how those fell? That's okay. okay. They weren't part of our bridge. See, I'm still. Now, if you notice, I had to squeeze this down a little bit to get those feet to move. But look at that. Our bridge is laying flat. Let's see if it'll support some weight. We got that. We are not allowed to touch the tower while we're adding this weight. Looks like it might hold all of it. Those pencils are doing a really good job giving strength to this bridge. Looky there. Very good. We have successfully created a tower that can also be used as a bridge. Well, that's it for today's challenge. Hopefully you learned a tip or two. The rules and details for this challenge are in the description down below in case you want to try it for yourself. But remember, just because I did it this way doesn't mean you have to. The key is to use your creativity and your imagination to do things your way. In doing that, you'll be able to crash through all of the obstacles life throws in your way. Leave me a comment down below of any challenge you'd like to see me try. Also, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell so you'll be notified when I post the next challenge.